Welcome back to WKRG News 5 at 630. There is a new business in downtown Mobile helping to promote local artists and their work. It's called The Frenchman and you'll find it on North Jackson Street between Dolphin and St. Francis Streets. WKRG News 5's Akivia McFarland takes us downtown for today's grand opening. Friday's rain didn't stop the ribbon cutting and grand opening celebration of downtown Mobile's newest art collective, The Frenchman. To mark the opening, the Excelsior Band and Azalea Trail Maids came out and had a mini second line parade down Jackson Street. Members of the Mobile Chamber were also present. Senior Vice President of Member Engagement Michael Galvin says the Chamber enjoys coming to grand openings and seeing business owners' dreams come to fruition. This one's particularly special because we hear from a lot of the large employers in the area that they need to retain and hire a workforce and recruit them to the area and having a vibrant downtown is a critical part of that and obviously the arts and entertainment play within that. The Frenchman will serve as a shop and gallery where the work of local artists will be on display. Owner Leo Ferreira says a variety of classes will be taught there as well. We're going to have like French classes, we're going to have kombucha making, bug pinning, painting and sips, we're going to have paper making, so we want to want to capture everyone in the community. Among the classes are tarot card readings. The house tarot card reader Dante Cortez hopes people will be able to visit the shop and be inspired. Having an eclectic area as the Frenchman here in downtown Mobile provides not just a spark of inspiration, but I think a spark of creativity. You can come into here, look at all the different art pieces and find at least a glimpse of something that'll spark that little creative bug that gets everybody eventually. <laughs> Ferreira says this is just the beginning and has more plans in store for how to give back to Mobile's art scene. It's really important that we are we are recognized, Mobile itself. I feel like everyone always goes to, of course, New Orleans and Pensacola, amazing art scene. But it's really important that we're not the forgotten jewel, you know, in the Gulf Coast. Reporting in Mobile, Akivia McFarland, WKRG News 5. Now.